Why does someone have to die before we can give a crap? Before there can be any change in the way we conduct ourselves as a society? A transgender teen by the name Leela Alcorn committed suicide after years of being rejected by her parents. Layla says in her suicide notes, When I was 14, I learned what transgender meant and cried of happiness. After 10 years of confusion, I finally understood who I was. I immediately told my mom she re I immediately told my mom. She reacted extremely negatively, telling me that it was a phase, that I would never truly be a girl, and that God doesn't make mistakes. Uh, now, I'm not completely blaming religion here, but I don't think that you can deny that religion had an influence in the way her parents reacted, especially with the idea that God doesn't make mistakes. Now, I do understand that even if religion wasn't a factor, that there's, there's still a possibility that her parents would have rejected her identity regardless. Now, I myself, I don't know a lot about transgenderism or uh, genders in general. I don't know a lot about that. don't understand it too much. But uh, at the same time, uh, I don't care to try to tell someone what their identity is. I don't care to try to label someone. If someone chooses to identify a certain way, then I don't care. I, I'm fine with that. So it's whatever. And uh, and I think that's really what Layla's problem was, is simply that the people in her life that meant the most, her parents, uh, simply could not accept that. They rejected it. And uh, And why was it that her parents couldn't accept the way she was? Was it because it simply made them feel too uncomfortable? Is it really so hard to just accept someone's identity without intolerance and hate? Maybe they just lacked any empathy or compassion towards Layla. Or maybe, perhaps, we just lack empathy as a society. Now, a good question to be asked is... Are Layla's parents responsible for their daughter's death? Uh, in short, yes, they are. I, I think it's pretty obvious. But more importantly, should they be punished for it? Uh, personally, I don't think they should be. Mostly because I think some people, when they look at this story, they forget that, you know, they still lost a child, they still lost a daughter. So they, too, are suffering a great loss here, even though it is that, even though they are to blame for it. But more importantly, they receive the worst punishment for such. Simply knowing that their daughter died, hating them, is punishment enough. And, um... Uh, guess that's all I really have to say about this. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, uh, share it with your friends, and comment and tell me what you think about this. Later.